Hi guys, welcome back to another video of me teaching. And today I have part three, or the last part of solving the 2025 IMO question three. So why don't we just get into the video? Oh, if you remember in the last part, we solved that f of p prime is equal to one for an arbitrary odd prime, p prime. So now, since the last part, we want to find out what f of n is and n is any integer. This is what we actually want to find out. Do you have a feeling that f of n will not have any odd prime factors? Well, actually, I have that feeling before. So, if it did have prime factors, then odd prime factors, then know that p prime must divide f of n, right? Now, to prove this wrong, I'm actually going to make up a new property. It's going to be property of n p prime. And this is just f of n will divide using that p prime to the power of n minus f of p prime to the power of f of n. And this is just equal to p prime to the power of n minus f of p prime is 1. So since f of n divides p divides this and p prime divides f of n, then we know that p prime must also divide p prime n minus 1. This is impossible. So this being said, we know that f of n can only have one prime factor, which is 2. And this being said, we know that f of n must be in the form of 2 to the power of k. And the question wants this to be less than or equal to c times n. So how do we do this? Well, this reminds us of something called LTE. This stands for lifting the exponent. Well, LTE is actually a really big branch in math. So, there are many different theorems and lemmas in here, but I'm just going to use one specific one. So, before I get into all of that, I'll first explain to you the function for which, f, for which LTE makes up. So, I'll just first write f of n is just equal to 2 to the power of k. Okay, now I'll explain LTE. So, LTE defines a function where we have V, B, and A. Now, this is the maximum exponent in which B will divide A. That might sound confusing, but when I show you a few examples, it will not be confusing at all. For example, V3 of 27 is 3. This is a very easy case because 3 to the power of 3 is just 27. Similarly, v354 is also equal to 3. You can try this on your own. v2 of 16 is 4. And v2 of 24 is actually 3. Now, this is actually what we're focusing on for a while. Because if you can notice, this 24 is just equal to 2 to the power of v2 of 24 multiplied by 3. And now, if you try some more of these examples, then you see that this multiplication constant is always odd. Well, why is that so? Because if we have an even multiplication constant, then we know that in every single even number, there must be at least one factor of 2. And if there is one factor of 2, then we can increase this number by 1. So this originally will be wrong. Now, we can actually generalize this to make it into a general form, which means that n will just be equal to 2 to the power of v2 of n multiplied by some arbitrary odd integer m. And that is also a very important information that we will use. So I'll write n is equal to 2 to the power of v2n multiplied by n.
Now, this is actually not at all the theorem or lemma that we're going to use. I was just explaining to you the function. So now I'll tell you the theorem or lemma. So the lemma is if b is equal to 2 and a and c are odd integers such that 4 will divide a minus c, then the formula will be v2 or b of a to the n minus c to the n is equal to v2 of a minus c plus v2 of n. Okay, so now this makes us think, why don't we let a and c to be 5 and 1 respectively? So then this lets us think, why don't we make a new property, property of n5. This will just be, use the bonds of function, f of n will divide 5 to the power of n minus f of 5 to the power of f of n. And we know that f of 5 is just 1. So this is equal to 5 to the power of n minus 1. And we know that f of n is just 2 to the power of k. So we know that 2 to the power of k must divide 5 to the power of n minus 1, which means that 2 to the power of k has to be less than or equal to 5 to the power of n minus 1, right? Now, some of you guys might be wondering, why do we even use this? Well, because this is a power of 2, right? And we want it to be less than or equal to something. To make it easier, don't we want this, don't we want to change this into 2 to the power of something? And that something on the exponent has to be the maximum power. And to do that, we can just take v2 of 5 to the n minus 1. And now, I'm going to change this into 1 to the power of n, because we can use this formula now. So then this will be equal to v2 of 5 minus 1, which is 4, and add v2 of n. And we know that v2 of 4 is just 2, so this is just equal to v2 of n plus 2, right? So now, if I rub this out, okay, so I'll write it back up here. Instead of writing 2 to the power of k, I'll write f of n. This is less than or equal to, so we know that this is the maximum power of something, of 2, right? So this is less than or equal to 2 to the power of this maximum power. So less than or equal to 2 to the power of v2 of n plus 2. Now, I'll adjust this a bit. This is just equal to, we can split up the powers a bit equals to 4 times 2 to the power of v2 n. Okay? And, look, don't you remember we have this formula? Well, we know that 2 to the power of v2 of n is just n over n. And m is just an odd integer. So, can't we just write this as 4 times n over n? Yes. And I'll write that as 4 over n times n. So, this might be a little bit confusing, so I'll rewrite it. f of n is less than or equal to 4 over n times n. Now, we are so close. Here it says we want to find the smallest c. So, don't we want the smallest values? So, what is the smallest value of n such that it is a positive odd integer? Well, of course, 1. So we know that this has to be less than or equal to 4 times n, right? And f of n altogether is less than 4n. And look, f of n is less than or equal to cn. And now c is just 4. Therefore, c is equal to 4. Done. So. This is the final answer to the 2025 IMO question 3. 
So, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoyed my video, and you want more videos like this, please consider liking and subscribing. If you want to master something, teach it.